party list Congressman Joseph Stephen Paduano of Abang Lingkod and Ron Salo of Cabayan withdraw their authorship of the bills granting ABS-CBN a franchise. During the House hearing on Thursday, July 9, Paduano says the network's alleged tax violations were the last straw for him. Though, Mr. Chairman, it is hard for me. I came to a conclusion that I am withdrawing my co-authorship of House Bill number 3713 that aims to grant the renewal of the franchise of ABS-CBN. Paduano also apologizes to the bill's principal author, Paranaque City Representative Joy Mayra Tamunting. Mr. Chairman, before I end, I wish to ask for apology and understanding of my distinguished colleagues, Representative Joy Tambunting, the principal author of the said House Bill, and to abs event President, Sir Carlo Katigbak, Sir, and to the abs CBN family. Paduano zeroes in on ABS-CBN subsidiary Big Dipper, which House Deputy Speaker Rodante Marcoleta claims the network used as a tax shield. Big Dipper is perceived as a tax shield for the media giant. Legally, Mr. Speaker, there is nothing wrong with Big Dipper as a PESA registered company, but ABS-CBN has been funneling some of its income to Big Dipper, which gives some moral points that is that it is doing so to avoid paying taxes. Paduano's withdrawal comes after Salo announced his withdrawal of the primary authorship of House Bill Number no. 6901 on Monday, July 6, which will grant ABS-CBN a new franchise after its old one lapsed on May 4. The about face of the authors come at a crucial time for ABS-CBN. The members of the House Legislative Franchises Committee could vote on the network's fate on Friday, July 10, though no final date for the voting has been announced. Meanwhile, Senator Ronald De La Rosa says ABS-CBN employees should just work hard and find a new job if Congress does not grant the media network a new franchise. De La Rosa offers the advice in response to questions about the possible effects of an ABS-CBN shutdown, especially in the middle of the pandemic, which had already caused businesses to shut down and more than 7 million to lose their jobs. But when told that jobs are scarce because of the pandemic and the economic situation, De La Rosa agrees, saying everyone is affected. Without a new franchise, ABS-CBN says it may start laying off employees by August due to financial constraints. There are a total of 11,071 employees affected by the network shutdown. De La Rosa says the denial of franchise will not affect the information landscape. outfits perform. So, wala ko epekto. Sa akin, Sa buong community as a whole, wala, wala rin ako nakikita. Ilang billion ba ang uh, tax na nire-remit ng, uh, ng ABCB sa gobyerno? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kung ganun kalaki, di may epekto ito sa revenue collection. Pero kung maliit lang, baka hindi gaano.